Welcome back to another ProCAD video. Today, we'll be looking at the Autodesk Fusion 360. In particular, an introduction to local and cloud rendering. To start, we're going to enter the render environment. Once there, we can begin setting up our scene by selecting Scene Settings. Fusion 360 has a number of inbuilt lighting environments to help you achieve a realistic render. In the scene settings, you can easily change the environments, ground and camera settings. I'm just going to change our background to a solid color. Depth of field can be added for focus blur, which will help create a more realistic render. The level of blur can be controlled within the settings. The camera focal length can be altered to mimic a real-life product photography setup. The ground plane can be activated or deactivated at the user's preference, with the reflections also an option. Materials and appearances can be added from Fusion's cloud-based material library. The appearance parameters of these materials can be edited to ensure realistic materials are used in your render. Once the scene and materials have been set, you can hit the In Canvas Render button to get a glimpse of what your render will look like. In some scenarios, more light can be needed to create a realistic render. A great way of creating an eye-catching render is to add a light-emitting body to your composition. Creating a shape or plane and setting its appearance to one of Fusion's emissive materials is simple and is a great way to highlight specific geometry. The brightness and colour of the light can be changed at any time in the appearance settings for that body. Once you're ready, you can hit the render button. You can set the particular media format you want to output to and its resolution. If you select local rendering, Fusion will use the graphics processor in your PC or Mac to render the image. Cloud rendering, on the other hand, processes your render in the cloud, allowing for faster, high-fidelity renders of your design. Using the cloud render tool utilizes rendering credits, with each render having a particular cost depending on its setups. With the cloud rendering tool, you can quickly queue up several different renders without slowing your workflow. At the bottom of the screen, you'll see your render gallery. Fusion 360 automatically renders orthographic views once the model has been saved to show the render outcome with those particular materials and appearances set. As you can see, it is easy to output several high quality renders in Fusion 360 in a matter of minutes. We hope this video helped you with Autodesk Fusion 360. Keep up to date with the ProCAD channel by clicking the subscribe button below. We endeavour to upload videos with tips and tricks on all the latest products and tools.